Hey everybody, it's Grace, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you along with me as I try some horses. So, I am looking for an eventing horse. I already have a horse, actually. Her name is Pistol. I'll put a picture of her. She is an eventing horse. We compete modified together, but she sustained a soft tissue injury, so I'm not sure what capacity she'll be able to return to, so I'm just looking for another horse. So the first horse I'm trying is one of my friend's horses, so she's at the barn that I keep my horse at. So coming into the barn, we actually have Pistol. Here she is, such a good girl. So here we have the London. I'm just going to pull her out and start tacking her up. Okay, so now I'm walking out to the arena. She has really good ground manners, wasn't girthy at all. I was really happy with that. So here's the outdoor. It's not incredible. We're actually having a bigger one being built right now, but this is what we're working with today. Okay, I'm just going to warm her up and we'll see what happens. She was very interesting on the flat. I was expecting her to be strong, but she was a little bit lazy. She was really difficult to get on the bit. She didn't really want to do it and her head was super heavy, but once I figured her out, she was really nice to ride. So after warming up, I talked to my friend and she kind of walked me through how to ride her jump and then we went off. Her jump was very difficult. It was very lazy and also really wiggly. So you really had to sit and push her into it while also holding her up. I could learn to get used to it, but I want a horse that's going to take me to the jump, especially on cross country. So she's not a no, but I'm going to keep looking. Next, I went to Riverside Equestrian Center to look at two different horses. The first horse I'm looking at is right behind me. His name is Tex. So his owner told me that his tack was in the little tack room. So I just grabbed it and took it to his stall. As you'll see in the video, he was pretty girthy, which concerned me a bit. So I got on and just walked him around. It was really windy at the stable, so I was really proud of him for not spooking. He had a nice flatwork education, which I was impressed with, but it was more huntery than anything. And he was not a fan of me asking him for lead changes. So after the warm-up, I decided to pop him over a couple jumps. He had a really nice jump, but it was more of a hunter jump than anything else. I'm not sure how he is out on cross country. I think it would take a lot of work to get him to be confident in himself as he's very cautious. Overall, he was a really nice horse and I'm definitely not going to overlook him. I brought the next horse out. I wanted to tack him up, but they were pretty honest about the ground manner issues he did have. I had a pretty interesting ride on Bones. He was a really big horse, but he was really nice on the flat. He was a little spooky and wiggly, but that's expected because he's so young. <laughs> He had a very interesting jump. He jumped everything huge and was very scopy. He did rush into them, which I wasn't a big fan of, but he is a baby and he's still learning. I was really impressed with how brave he was and how he didn't care when I was putting the jumps up, so I really appreciated that from him. While he is really young and would take a lot of work, I did feel like we clicked. I did like him, but there would definitely be some things I would have to fix if I got him. So this next trial was really weird and sketchy. 20 minutes before I got there, I messaged the owner and this is what they had to say. I'd already driven two hours out there, so I decided to try her anyways. I was definitely intrigued by this mare's ad. I was kind of annoyed the owner wasn't there and that I didn't get to tack her up or see her being tacked up, but I figured I might as well try to have a nice ride. So I got to the arena and these were the jumps they had. I don't want to say anything about finances or anything, but I definitely expected some real jumps like they said. Warming up, she was very lazy. She didn't want to respond to any of my aids. It was just really confusing for me. I decided to pop her over the jumps that were set out. Her ad said she jumped over six feet, so I figured she'd be pretty scopy. This is how the majority of our jumps went. I don't think this mare has ever been jumped before. If not, she's very green to it. The ad was definitely lying, and it was a very confusing and frustrating ride for both of us. 
I decided to end early. She was really sweet, but I'm not looking for a project right now. So I'm already on the next horse. I didn't get any photo Jimmy tacking up, but here's his ad real quick. Let me just say, I wasn't expecting a lot. He's 13'3", but let me just tell you, this pony is insane. This is the jump I did on him, and he cleared it by a mile. He may only be 13'3", but he could definitely go up to modified. Something I was really excited about was I was able to take him out cross-country schooling. He was incredible. He took me to every fence, gave me such an amazing feeling over all the jumps. He was perfect. One thing I'd really have to think about is his height. I am 5'6", and he's only 13'3", and I still have more growing, so I'd really have to consider how long I would actually be able to have him. And he was out of my price range. Thank you guys for watching. I actually already bought the horse, and let me know down below who you think I got.